Hey, Pokey fans! Welcome back to PFL Five. I'm Greg. I'm Sarah. I'm Jaden. And today we're continuing on with our fun little series of Pokemon randomness. This is episode four. What does our wheel have for us today? <laughs> if Charmeleon didn't evolve, well, Ash would be dead. Yeah, then he evolved to um air, to fight Aerodactyl. Yep, that was the only reason why it evolved. It didn't evolve to save Ash. It evolved to fight Aerodactyl because Aerodactyl could fly. It couldn't. Okay. What's your opinion, Jaden? Then how would Charmeleon... Why wouldn't Charmeleon evolve? Because if you give it a never stone, you'll never evolve. So. No. What if Charmeleon didn't evolve? Remember, Charmeleon only evolved to save Ash... Well, to fight Aerodactyl, which took Ash and was going to eat Ash. Didn't it, um, Ash fall into Charizard's arms? Or did... I forgot how the episode ended. Charizard did catch Ash, but, but then they fell because of Jigglypuff singing. Mm -hmm. And then Ash landed on and rolled to Togepi's egg. Okay. Or Togepi's egg rolled into Ash's arm, one of the two. I can't remember exactly which way it went. Now, what do you think would have happened if Charmeleon didn't evolve to save Ash, even though that's not exactly how it goes? Ash would get eaten, then we would never see Ash again. Okay, they would have had to have a new main series character. Okay, so we all agree on that one. First time we've had an agreement on one of these questions. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, 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 go. Spin that wheel, spin that wheel. If Brock, if Brock's dad didn't step up to take care of his brother and sisters, well? I, Brock probably wouldn't went on the journey. What do you think? Brock, um, wouldn't be like, he wouldn't be on his journey and helping Ash. And be a gym leader. Brock isn't a gym leader anymore. Brock is a doctor. For Miss Joy. He's a professor. He's not a professor, he's a doctor. Uh. For Miss Joy. No, he's not a doctor for Miss Joy. That's what he decided to become. Oh. He wanted to, uh, After all his traveling, that's what he decided to become, was a doctor. Yeah. He wanted to start off as a breeder and became a doctor. Yep. Okay. Well... I think Brock would have eventually left, but I think his journey would have taken a different turn. He wouldn't have met Ivy, True. which would have had, which gave him his mental breakdown, which we're not we're not allowed to nobody's allowed to talk about Professor Ivy in front of him. I really want to know what happened there. I don't know. Maybe Professor Ivy had a husband and he finally showed up. True. Or maybe Professor Ivy liked women. Who knows? Only time to tell. Or maybe Professor Ivy got was, engaged. N no, or well, that's possible. Maybe Professor Ivy was trans, and Brock found out. I mean, mean, look at Bro look at James. How many times has he been? How many times has he dressed it up like a woman? True. And in one of the in one of the band episodes, he even had boobs that he can make grow. Wait, can we watch that? No, it's banned. I wish I could get us a box a poke. I wish they would release a box set of Pokemon with all the band episodes. I would pay extra for it. I would totally pay extra for it because I want to see the Porygon episode, not just little clips that people have pulled up. Okay, back off off our tangent. <laughs> And boop. Spin that wheel. Spin the wheel. Spin that wee 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 wheel. Why Brock left Ivy? Well, we we, we kind of just answered that one. So I guess we could go again. Brock. Let's see. Let's all just give off random answers for why Brock left Professor Ivy. Because um she liked other man. Like. He says, liked another man, could be trans, could like girls. Brock could have proposed and she turned him down. Could be that. 
There's so many reasons why Brock could have left Ivy. They give no answer. And we would never know. Never, <laughs> never know. Never, never know. Kind of funny how that one played into itself. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Should we have more po- side Pokemon anime? Which, for my family that doesn't un- know what that means, I'm talking about like Pokemon Origins, Pokemon Generations, uh, the Silver and Gold series, which you followed Ethan in. Is that like the Orange Islands one too? No, Orange Islands is technically part of the main series. I'm talking about Alola. side. Alola was not a side series. Uh. Okay, Jaden, look at me. Do you remember when we watched the episodes that had Red as the main character? Oh, that one. Don't remember. Okay, you remember the Generation series where it showed us all the different games? It basically was shorts of the entire game? Yeah. That is a side series. Okay? Okay? Okay. Good. Maybe. I think so. There's so much we could, there's so much more they could go into. So many more characters, like Officer Jenny's training. Her and all her cousins? Yeah. Are they actually... We could find out if Nurse Joy and Officer Jenny are actually clones. And I know there was the um, the nursing school that Jesse went to. Yeah. Wait, what about, um, like... um, But she didn't go to the human one. She went to the one for Chansey's. Wait, what about... um, I don't know why that was. What did they, like... We make, like, a Miss Joy and, like, the police baby. <laughs> because she couldn't get into the human school because she wasn't a Joy. Okay. That's why she got into the Chansey school. But it wasn't just Chansey's. It was at, Jigglypuff. The one she was Jigglypuff. at was only Chansey's. And Jigglypuff. There was, okay. Jigglypuff. Next one. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Okay, go ahead. No, go ahead. Molly's turn. Don't forget use the light ring. Please, please, please. Same. We already said, I said yes, he said maybe, and she said maybe. Wait, what's that? Because he doesn't quite understand, still doesn't quite understand what I mean by side series. Don't you, there we go. If Ash was on time. Yeah, what if he was on time? Would he got a Bulbasaur? A Squirtle? A Charmander? Charmander, please! Please, Charmander! Please! It's a possibility. We'll never know. He could still end up with Pikachu. Because, technically, if he didn't end up with Pikachu, it would destroy the entire timeline of Pokemon. Yeah, I know that. So, would he, be, would he still be champion? Probably. He might have become champion sooner. Who knows? <laughs> This would be very what funny. if him being on time changed his whole look on how Pokemon, on doing Pokemon? Well, Balfi found not being befriend or use him as battle like Gary did. Well, Balfi found would, a shiny Charizard and caught that. That's not one of the what the question is. We're working on, buddy. Okay. It was what if Ash was on time? He wouldn't have met. He wouldn't have seen Ho Ho. True. If he was on time, he wouldn't have met Misty. I think they would have. Possibly crossed if she was back at her gym. Would have went back to her gym, which could have happened. Yep. Now, but, like I said, if Ash was on time, it would have destroyed the entire timeline. Because Samuel Oak met Ash as a boy in the Pokemon Forever movie. Mm Mm-hmm. What's Pokemon Forever? So, basically, he knew to give Ash Pikachu because of that. Exactly. Think about it. why was Pikachu the on- the last Pokemon he had. True. Because you would think a professor that knew he had four kids coming that day would have more than just one Charmander, one Squirtle, one Bulbasaur. He would have some type of backup. But who said that he did not have the backup because of that encounter that they had? And because in the anime he says these exact words to Ash I only have one more Pokemon yes but he could just said it 
Because he knew what he had to give Ash. Okay, I understand that. But if you go by logic of the anime, we're talking about if Ash was on time, Pikachu wouldn't have been an Let's just say Pikachu wasn't an option if Ash was on time. Because that would have destroyed the timeline. Professor Oak would not have known to have that Pikachu there. Okay. He only had one Bulbasaur, one Charmander, one Squirtle. Four trainers were to come that day for a Pokemon. You're confusing me. Okay, I know what you're saying. I do. Hello. And... Yeah. But if Ash was on time, he would have paid from that. But... Because of the whole incident when he he met Sam, as Professor Oak as a child, what if he had more, but just claimed he didn't? But he didn't have more. Is what I'm trying to tell you. He made it clear he only had one more Pokemon under his belt. It was Mister. And he didn't even want Ash to ha- was hesitant to give it to Ash. Even though he still, after only just a little bit of probing, gave it to Ash. Well, this is one more Pokemon. Pikachu. Pikachu. But if Ash didn't go back in time uh-huh. and save Professor Oak as a kid, where Professor Oak has that picture in his journal of Ash, Pikachu, Misty, and Brock... All of them together in that picture with him as a kid, he would not have known to make sure Ash got that Pikachu. If Ash was on time, that destroys that entire timeline. Ash wouldn't have gone back in time to save Professor Oak. That means Professor Oak would have never known to have that Pikachu handy for Ash. And that means the four trainers, Ash, Gary, and the two we don't know the name of, would have... One of them would have still been without a Pokemon. Because Professor Oak only had three. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Do one of the parts don't make sense. What? Where um he had Ash, Pikachu, Misty, and Brock in his picture book. Ash went back in time in the Forever movie. Uh-huh. He saved young Professor Oak. Uh-huh. They took a picture together. That's why Professor Oak has it in his journal. Okay. So Professor Oak knew to give Ash Pikachu. Exactly. That's the reason why P- Professor Oak told Ash he only had... Um, after the first three got taken away, he only had Pikachu left. <coughs> Even though we do not know if he had more and just claimed he only had it. If you go off the games... Let's just use the game okay. as part of this. Let's move on. That was the last question. But I'm going, if you go into the games, he only has the three Pokemon sitting on the table. Mm-hmm. Now, if you play, if you go, if you add yellow to it, you have to catch the Pikachu to get it. Mm-hmm. But there is another Pokeball on the table, and that Pokeball has Eevee in it. Mm-hmm. But we know Gary got Blastoise from Professor Oak. You mean Squirtle? It becomes a Blastoise, so I'm just going to call it Blastoise. How do we know that? How do we know he didn't catch a Squirtle out in the wild? Because if Gary would have caught... Because when he was fighting Ash in the cup, he didn't use Eevee and Eevee in any of that. It wasn't until the Johto League... Right before going to Johto, that Gary had Eevee. That's how I know that Eevee did not exist as one of Professor Oak's Pokemon. And how did the let's go Eevee? Because it was the second Pokemon in Pokemon Yellow. And po- let's go Eevee and let's go Pikachu are based off of Pokemon Yellow. Okay. Okay, okay I'm Pokemon Yellow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry for the long tangent rant. But thank you all for tuning in. Arceus appreciates it as well. May Arceus smile upon you. Guys. Have fun. And like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.